Hey, what's going on everybody? James Dieter is finally back with a new video. I finally got my Elvira pre-order in yesterday that I've had pre-ordered since February 27th, I think. And I ordered two more things with it, which I will show off in my next video after this one. But I wanted to show show off the the Red Dress Elvira and the Plastic Empire exclusive Elvira, which I can't remember if I made a video on or not. So here is the limited edition Red Dressed Elvira. I have not seen any movies with her in it because I think she is a movie star, I think. Or she was in a TV show of some kind. But uh, obviously I, uh, I like horror stuff, so I wanted to uh, get this to add to my little Handmade by Robots collection, because I think I have over, probably close to 25 now, Handmade by Robots. I will try to get this open really quick, because there's, there's usually a piece of tape on the bottom that is holding it on, so, oh, I can already smell the bottom from here, and I just, I barely took the tape off of the bottom. But yeah, I love the way that these are made. They look like they look like yarn, which is super super dope. Oh, I didn't notice that. She's got a little tiny uh, little uh, mole or beauty mark on the side of her face. Oh, her hair is awesome! Wow, that's sick. Oh, that's really awesome. Wow, love the little uh, hang tag it's got. Wow, this is really cool. I like the pose they have her in. She's um, on her knees. Really, really cool. That would have been cool if they would have put her on her uh, the bench like they did with the um, Funko Pop. But obviously that probably would have cost more money to uh, create, but that would have been really cool. I'm sure they might be making more uh, color variations of her dress. Like, they've already come out with two different um, dress colors. Because I know Funko has made probably maybe five different versions of her. I know she's a mummy. She's dressed as a mummy, and I think she's glowing in the dark. I know she has a diamond version of the red dress, I think. There's a common version of the red dress. I know there's an orange one that they made for a Halloween con. Because I think the sticker's got something to do with Halloween on it. And there's a couple more. There's, I think there's a black dress one. Yeah, there's a ton of them that they could come out with. If they keep her uh, license. And here is the Plastic Empire 666-piece Elvira. Oh, oh, metallic version, because it says metallic right there. Love the Plastic Empire sticker with the little um, gorilla head. Super, super cool. And as you can tell, they are all new, because all the newer Handmade by Robots have the, have the window in the back, which is kind of cool, because if they have something on... If you are an inbox collector and they have stuff on the back, you can see it. So let me get her out and show it off a little better. I am making a pizza right now, so I'm trying to uh, hurry up with this video. But I just put it on, so and it takes 20 minutes to cook. And obviously this isn't gonna be a 20 minute video, so. And here is the Triple Dress Elvira. No stickers on the bottom saying what number it is, but that is okay. Wow, this is super awesome. I love the metallic on her. Wow, that's really cool. Really, really cool. The hair is, hair is awesome again. Love the makeup that they chose for the character. The little button eyes, really, really cool. And let me grab the other one so I can give you a comparison. Here is both, don't want to grab a bear of boobies, both Elvira's that they have come out with so far. Wow, that is really, really cool. Oh, it's got black lipstick on this one and red lipstick on that one. No, I guess it's, yeah, it's black lipstick. Really, really awesome. I love these. I might have to check out some of the stuff that Elvira has been in. Actually, you can kind of tell by the hair that this hair is a lot brighter. Because I think they might have metallic the hair, too. Wow, this is really, really cool. Very, very cool. So, yeah, there you guys have it for my review of the Elvira Handmade by Robots figures. Knit figures. Well, actually, I never showed you the top of the box. This is the Plastic Empire one, right? 
Yeah, this, this is the Plastic Empire top. I love how they put the little actual picture of the, the person or character on the box. That's really awesome. And here's the top to the red dress one. Oh, and they put an actual picture of her on the box as well. Super awesome. I really hope that they come out with some anime pops because I will definitely try to get every one of them that they make, even if I have never seen the anime before. Because although I haven't watched an anime per I haven't watched an anime probably since January or February of this year. But uh yeah, I am uh, into anime. I know they're losing their Dis Disney license soon, so I need to grab a couple of Disney figures that I really like. I think they have some Stitch. I think I saw a Stitch one on there. Stitch is one of my favorite characters. I'll have to grab him. I can't remember if there's any up characters. I don't think they have made an up character in Handmade by Robots, but I'll have to check that out. And, um, yeah. I guess that will be it for this video. After I eat my pizza, I will make another video showing off. Actually, I have three more figures to show off. I don't think I showed I bought the Chernabog from uh, that weird store. Or maybe I did make a video. I thought I made a video. Well, if I did and I put Elvira in the video, then I've made two videos with the with the Plastic Empire Elvira, so, which I don't think I did. But, uh, yeah, until next time, this is James Dieter telling everyone out there to have a nice day.